Hi Gemini, this is going to be a general love reading for mid-April 2021 for your Sun, Moon, Rising and your Venus signs. And because it is general, it's not going to resonate for all of you, but you can check out one of your other signs if that is the case. And if you want a personal reading, all that information is in the description box. And also keep in mind that the roles can be reversed. All right, so let's see, Gemini overall energies, what's going on? All right, we have Crossroads and we have Victim. All right, so it's one of those readings. <laughs> okay, somebody is trying to make a decision here, is at a crossroads, but feeling a little bit stuck possibly, feeling like like they can't move and that they can't choose a path or even if they've chosen a path that they can't move towards that path. And usually when that happens, it's pretty much all in our minds. We always have a choice and we always can move. Um, but yeah, sometimes it can be difficult. So this could be you, it could be them. Well, let's see what we get here for Gemini. April 2021, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. All right, cards are acting up, so yeah, definitely a lot of intense energy. So let's see, for your energy, we have the Six of Swords, the Ace of Cups, and Judgment. All right, I feel like you're, you're trying to move away or you are moving away from something, from a situation that might be conflicting you, or at least just keeping your distance um, in some way, even though this is a connection that you are very fond of, you hold a lot of love for this person or for this situation. And so I do feel like actually you having judgment here, I feel like you're making a decision or you're making a discernment here when it comes to your own self, even though there's a lot of love. Um, let's see for them. The Ten of Swords, the Nine of Wands, and the Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, so I do feel like it's your person um, that is in this energy, but of course, roles can be reversed. Um, it, it can really get um, a little bit mixed and matched when you're cross-watching. Um, but yeah, this person here is feeling pretty much defeated. Maybe that there's an ending or maybe that they just don't know exactly what to do. And, and so they're dealing with a bit of a struggle here. A very challenging um, time period, I feel, for their life when it comes to a new path. I feel like there is something new that they want to do or follow when it comes to the practical world. But they're having a hard time doing that. Let's see what's coming up. The Eight of Pentacles justice and the five of pentacles and a message here for you is the chariot all right so it looks like coming up in the near future again there's a decision here a decision that needs to be made a decision that might actually be made this decision might lead to a feeling of loss um again i mean i feel like there's still a little bit of that victim mentality but I do see a decision here. I do see somebody working towards making that decision. And then the message here is um, action, pretty much, movement. So let's clarify and see the details. All right, Gemini. So let's clarify the Six of Swords. We have the Eight of Wands and the Queen of Swords. Yeah, so I feel like you're you're pretty firm about this. Um, I feel like you're not really giving in um, to any temptations that might arise. 
because I feel like there might be temptations here um, because you do have a lot of love for this person, but you're being pretty firm when it comes to keeping your distance um, or even just moving away from this person. And I feel like you're, you're doing it kind of quickly. You might even be communicating this to them or maybe just physically doing it if you're not communicating it um, or even just energetically. Let me see the Ace of Cups. The Seven of Cups, the World, and then the Ace of Cups again. So yeah, like I said, there's definitely a lot of love here, but I feel like you, you may have felt like there has been a lot that has been going on here, a lot that has been confusing, maybe some back and forth, maybe just um, for some of you, not all of you, but for some of you possibly feeling like an option or that there were just too many distractions um, within this connection or just just not knowing what's going to happen um, things not being clear and I feel like because of that you are deciding to put an end to that with the world it doesn't mean that you're necessarily ending the connection I don't I don't necessarily see that 100% but I feel like you're just keeping your distance or moving away from it um, Yeah, let's see, let's see judgment. Ooh, okay. The magician and the emperor. Wow. When I say you're really standing firm and strong in this decision, like it's no joke. You're really manifesting things and I feel like you're manifesting something new. Not necessarily a new relationship. It, it could be for some of you, but that's not necessarily what I'm seeing, just a new way of of being in this dynamic. And I feel like this choice that you're making is one that is serving um, a higher purpose and your own higher self. It's in alignment. You're manifesting, I feel, big time right now, all right, with that magician and the emperor. It's, it's like putting bringing your whole world into order, bringing your life into order, getting that control back um, for your own self, pretty much. I mean, I, I still feel like you have, you hold this person in a high regard on some level um, because of the love that you feel and the connection that you feel. And as I say that, the King of Wands <laughs> comes out. So yeah, definitely, there's definitely strong feelings here, um, but let's see. Let's see what's going on with them. Let's see this Ten of Swords. Alright, the Six of Pentacles, the Three of Pentacles, and the Knight of Swords. Alright, so the way this is um, showing up for me, I feel like for a lot of you, this is definitely a third party situation. Doesn't have to be. Um, but I, I feel like that's the case for, for some of you, or for a lot of you watching this video, if this is resonating. Um, this person feels like it's almost like it's a dead end. I feel like they don't know where they want to give their attention, give their energy. I feel like they might feel like there's um, a sense of obligation to give their energy to, to something else. It doesn't have to be a relationship. Um, but with this Three of Pentacles and just the whole thing here, that's just how it's appearing. And I feel like they, you know, there is something that they want to do about it. They definitely want to do something about it. They want to take action here with that Knight of Swords, but I feel like this this energy that they're in, this victim mentality is, is overtaking them, like feeling like it's just a dead end almost, or just feeling a lot of a lot of pain. Um, at the same time though, I'm also getting that. I feel like they're, I, I feel that they're going to come around. I feel like they're coming around. I feel like this is more of a 
fluctuation. Um, there's something that is ending here and they, they're just having a hard time really finalizing that ending. But I do see them taking action though, that's the thing. I do see them taking action, wanting to find a balance within themselves. Let me see what the Nine of Wands. Six of Wands, the Hierophant, and the Five of Cups. Yeah, like I said, you know what, I feel like just at the moment, whatever it is that they're trying to decide on, whatever these this crossroads is, it's causing a lot of pain, it's causing a lot of grief, it's causing a lot of sadness. Um, again, though, the way this is showing up here, it's difficult, it's definitely hard. I feel like they've shed a lot of blood, sweat, and tears, basically, um, throughout whatever this situation is. However, they do want to win. That's the thing. They're feeling like a victim. And see, again, it's like, it's a little bit of back and forth. Because, yeah, we do have signs of that, but then we also have the Six of Wands, for example. We have the Knight of Swords, like, wanting to take action, wanting to find um, victory through this. Especially when it comes to a specific connection. It's just that there's also some pessimism attached to that, and I feel like... Sometimes that victim mentality just takes over and keeps them from really being able to move forward in a more mature way. I feel like with this Knight of Swords, it's like, yeah, um, impulsively taking some action and then, you know, maybe then feeling defeated and not being able to complete it. Let me see the Ace of Pentacles. Alright, the devil. The tower and death. Alright, wow, that's some pretty strong energy right there. Um, it's, like I said, it's pretty rough on them right now. They they want this new path. They There's something new that this person is trying to do. They're trying to move in a new path. Alright, which could be towards you. I don't know. It depends. All right. It depends on how, how the roles are, but there's a lot of fear attached to that new path. There's a lot of fear because in order to open up that new path, something else needs to end. And like I said, I feel like they're not 100% completing that ending because it's just it's very overwhelming i feel like they're doing it in small steps um they want to i mean the intention is definitely there but the grief is just something that really overtakes them i mean again i do feel like overall they're doing it i do feel like they want to put this ending to whatever that devil is, to whatever that fear is. Like, I feel like this person is very much aware of their fears. And they realize that this, um, whatever it is, it's going to create a tower. Like, there's no avoiding that tower. Like, that's just something that comes along with it. And so I do feel like they're aware of that in order to open up that new path. So, I mean, they're getting there, but... It might just be taking a little bit of time. So let's actually see what is coming up. Let's see the Eight of Pentacles. All right, the Lovers and the Ace of Swords. Yeah, so there's definitely a lot of effort and work being put in. I feel like the effort that this person is um, putting into finalizing whatever this situation is in order to move in the new path, right? To actually get unstuck from the crossroads and actually choose a path. That effort is going to go up a notch. All right, coming up here with the Ace of Swords and the Lovers clarifying the Eight of Pentacles. All right, they're moving towards truth. They're moving towards making a decision here, taking action and making a decision towards love. Plain and simple. Let's see justice.
And it's interesting because just now as I was shuffling, I noticed the Five of Pentacles was actually flipped over, which we also have down here, which is also like that victim card. Let's see justice. So yeah, I feel like they're still carrying a little bit of that energy with them, but still pushing through. All right, the Star and the Three of Swords. Yeah, so there's a decision, and again, this decision is very painful. It's a very painful decision, but I feel like they're making it. They're making this decision that is painful, but on the, at the same time, there's hope. There's hope for healing. There's hope for something better that will come after that, after the pain. Let's see the Five of Pentacles. The Seven of Pentacles and the Six of Swords. All right, okay, good. So yeah, there's still, I, I feel like once this is happening, like once this person is actually taking action, um, choosing a path, untying those ropes from their hands and moving towards that painful road, which is also going to lead them to healing though. Once that, once that is happening, they're still going to have a little bit of that victim type of thinking. Like it's still, they're still going to be doing it. I'm almost seeing it as them being a little bit complaining to themselves about it or just feeling a loss, feeling a little bit of pity for their own self. But they're still doing it. And not only that, I see them gradually beginning to move away from that moving towards being able to conquer those feelings and actually planting those seeds for the direction that they want to move in. Again, I do feel like it's going to take a little bit of time for them to really recover from whatever, whatever this is. Um, that seems to cause them a lot of pain. So, I mean, maybe choosing this path requires that they compromise something else or sacrifice something else, which makes it painful. Um, I don't know. All right, so the chariot for the final message. Let's see. <laughs> the chariot and the wheel of fortune. Look at that. So basically the message here is that there's definitely movement. All right, there's definitely movement and there's definitely movement towards the better and a change for the better. All right, so even if it feels like there is no movement, um, yeah, it's painfully slow and it feels like it's just dragging out and that there's just so much negativity with it. Like I just feel there's a lot of heavy energy attached to this. It is happening overall. All right, we have the chariot. There is movement here. And I feel like actually this movement is on both of your sides, especially having it twice. Um, I don't know, maybe some of you are dealing with a cancer because that did show up twice there, but we do have um, a lot of signs here out on the table. But definitely I feel like you're moving in a direction that is helping you to find your sense of control and you're manifesting things into your life while this person is dealing with whatever that situation is. <laughs> Um, but there's definitely movement on both ends for the better. All right, so Gemini, if this resonated, let's get a final oracle message for you. And please do give me a thumbs up if it did. And let me know what sign you're dealing with. Always interested in knowing that. Gemini. And we have, ooh, wedding. This situation involves marriage. All right, so there might be a marriage that's already involved or maybe a marriage um, is in the potential future here. All right, Gemini, those were your messages. Thank you so much for watching. Much love.